Hi guys, welcome to WebZeta. In this video, I'm going to talk about reactivity in Svelte. So as usual, we'll start with uh, a blank canvas. I will have a variable called sky. And let that be empty for now. I will also have a star here. Uh, I, I have this uh, nice little star uh, from another website. It's a unicode. I'll have that here. And then I will show the star here. Maybe in H1. Star. So I'll have it in a single, a single line. The star is showing now. Maybe I will style it as well. I'll make the color red. All right. Now um, the sky is empty. So what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, stars to the sky uh, with a with a button maybe. So I'll have a button. Add stars. So what should uh, this button do is you know it should add more stars. Uh, to the sky so in fact I will have sky here which is currently empty um, and I will be adding stars to that so it will fill up I'll have a function uh, something like on click now this is how you uh, this is how you do on click event here uh, it takes a function and then you have to add stars to the sky so sky equals sky plus star so whenever you uh, click this button sky will be added with the star and you can keep on adding and it will you know keep on incrementing adding a star again and again since, since you know we have one star here uh, a single star will be added to the sky now that's really nice. We can uh, actually shorten it plus equals star. That does the same thing. Uh, we can also display default message here uh, or something like empty. Okay, now the sky is empty and when we start adding, that empty will go away and the stars start showing up. So let's imagine I want to count the number of stars that I've added. So I can have a paragraph here. Uh, I can have something like sky dot length so this should uh, um, show the number of stars I have added so many stars right and finally this should update right away isn't it now let's say you have added so many stars and you want to uh, file it somewhere on a book or something so let's say you write it on a book that there are um, sky dot length stars in the sky okay so this is, this is a book let's say um, so when you keep on adding stars uh, both will update so this is good but uh, you may not want to use the same things, you know, I mean like, you know, sky dot length in multiple places uh, A better way to do it is like, you know, having another variable uh, Something like number of stars uh, Equals sky dot length Right and using that instead of sky dot length everywhere okay now uh, we have zero and we keep on adding but they are not getting updated right so for this to be updated you should have uh, an assignment somewhere like something equals something else uh, that kind of assignment is not there uh, in the dom and it's here but you know it's it takes the initial value and then it doesn't update so if you want it to be reactive 
there is a nice little declaration that we can use in Svelte uh, called dollar colon. So when you do this, uh, when you use that, uh, what it ha what happens is you know whatever it depends on when sky updates, the number of stars also updates. Okay, so th this this uh, this will be run repeatedly once you know when the sky changes. So that's 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 uh, you know reactive statement for you. Uh, you can have uh, you know multiple statements here, um, something like this. Let's say you have a curly brace, and then uh, you have a console log of uh, something like a message uh, sky isn't empty. Okay. Okay. It says number of stars. Okay. So we have to define it here somewhere. I mean, uh, if we don't use this, you know, uh, curly braces, then it, it assigns a variable for this. I mean, I think it, it will initialize since we are not using it yeah now we have this uh, message also showing up so you can have multiple statements there you can also have if statements here directly you can use if so let's not have uh, multiple statements single is enough now so that's how you define reactive statement this can be very useful when you have a cart and you add items and then uh, you have to show that how many uh, products has been added to the cart for that it, it can be very useful uh, if you're using it in multiple places you know you can use this uh, declaration if you're using it in one place maybe you can just just use dot length that should be enough that takes care of it now uh, let's imagine there is a array there is an array so of uh, something like a planets equals um we'll start with mercury i should have it in strings and then uh, there is Venus, then Earth. Okay. Um, so imagine we want to add something to this this array. The way we do this is we use something called dot push operator. So let's say I do that planets dot push. Uh, okay, Earth is there. So I'll push Mars. Uh, then if I console log here oh I think I missed spelling here. okay so you get that there is there is Mars added so let's imagine we have to do that in Dom okay so not here so we have a button so here we show planets maybe in a p tag And then uh, we want a button which says add Mars okay so we have on click we can have on click and this can uh, do that function of planets dot push Mars so it can do it and uh, if you look at it I mean this this planets that we have declared is not updating but if you have multiple statements here let's say if we console log what's actually in planets and you see that Mars is being added but it's not showing in the DOM so the the reason why it isn't showing is that there is no assignment done here to anything so you can you can do that by assigning uh, something uh, planets equals like planets equals to some some other variable and that other variable dot push mars and then you can reassign planets to the to that variable like a temporary variable so i mean it's complex but we can also do it uh, this way where uh, you can just uh, i'll remove this you can just have planets equals so this this is called spread operator where uh, you can have planets comma Mars this statement will add Mars to the planets and there is an equals which is an assignment then this will be you know this planets will be recalculated and it will uh, 
will give us Mars. It should have. I don't know why it isn't. Oh, I think you know I haven't ended. Yeah, it's 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 getting the previous one. Okay, yeah. Now we are getting Mars. I mean, it's adding multiple times. I'm just showing an example. So yeah, so we can add Mars and it will add there. Now, this is how you do it. Uh, let's imagine you have objects. Uh, let Earth. So objects are objects usually have properties like you know Earth has some properties like uh, shape. It's round. Uh, let's say water present right and we can uh, show that here I mean maybe yeah we'll show it here in a paragraph uh, earth is uh, I can show earth dot shape in shape water is earth dot uh, water water is present I mean if it is not there then we should show absent I can have it here uh, okay B is missing okay so uh, if let's say you know I remove it I will show absent water is absent so that's just a nice trick that we can use here uh, or state with our statement and finally uh, life so th there is no life we have you know we haven't mentioned life there uh, earth dot life so okay so life isn't even there so we'll, we'll mention it though life yeah so uh, we'll have uh, another statement is uh, absent for now since life is empty uh, life is absent we'll have a button um, add life okay so this button adds life on earth so let's say on flick again this is a function and I can have something like earth dot life sorry I don't know why I type left for life equals um, present now where is the button okay so life changes to present from absent okay now that is done uh, we can do this in another way as well like you no know, uh, we have this spread operator so where earth equals uh, you can do something like this dot dot earth so earth will remain same comma um life present and that should do it okay so that will also update uh, this is a spread operator in es6 i mean you can use it or you can just use the previous method also so this is how you uh, can update the state so even uh, all these variables are actually state of this component uh, belongs to this component so they they can be updated with uh, assignments so when you assign something uh, with an equal sign then they get updated everywhere and if you want to update it in the script itself you can use declarative statement where uh, reactive declaration where uh, you can use it when let's say you're using it in multiple places so yeah th that's it guys i think uh, that that made some of the concepts clear um, try it somewhere and uh, yeah hit thumbs up I'll see you in the next one bye